Hola, como estas? What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Victor here again. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Um, as you can see from the title down below, this is just my quick predictions and run through of all the round of 16 matches at the 2019 on the 17 World Cup. Um, as it stands right now, all the group stage matches have been completed and we now have the features for the round of 16 for the knockout stage. The first game um, will be between Angola and South Korea. And my personal opinion about this game, I see Angola winning this game. You know, Angola has been really impressive in this tournament, getting six points from the first two games, ensuring qualification before playing Brazil the host. And they actually lost to Brazil two goals to nil, but I felt they really played well in that game against Brazil. South Korea also had six points from the group, defeating Haiti and Chile. Um, they did well uh, finishing second in the group and uh, it's just going to be a very tight match but I see Angola winning this game probably two goals to one or two goals to nil just my personal opinion the game will be played on Tuesday November 5th and it's been interesting to see what happens in that game the next round of 16 game is between Nigeria and Netherlands that will be played on November 6th on Wednesday and um, this game will be interesting to see who actually wins. Um, I'm a Nigerian, so I'm predicting Nigeria to win that game. You know, Netherlands were not really impressive in the group stage, losing their first two games of the competition, considering six goals in the group stage. They lost three goals to New against Japan, and they also lost three goals to one against Senegal. So it will be difficult for them to face Nigeria with that type of form for this competition. And they redeemed themselves, defeating United States four goals to nil. But to be honest, United States have not been really impressive. So it'll be interesting to see how Netherlands responds in the knockout stage. Nigeria, on the other hand, had a very good start to the competition, coming back from two two go two one to win the first two games, four goals to two and three goals to two against Hungary and Ecuador. But they lost the last game to Australia, though they've qualified already at that point. But I just feel Nigeria are stronger and they perform better than the 17 World Cup. Although they also have some issues with their defense, also considering six goals um, in both games. And uh, I, I'm just going to pick Nigeria to win this game. Is there going to be, there's going to be lots of goals in this game, um, I can tell, because both teams actually like to attack Nigeria and Netherlands. So it's, I, I think there will be lots of goals in this game. So I just pick Nigeria to win this game, three goals to one, a prediction. Um, the next game, Japan Mexico. Mm -hmm. Two good sides. Japan had a very good record in the group, getting seven points, finishing as top of the group, defeating Senegal, one very strong team. You know, they got a draw, draw against United States and they defeated Netherlands three goals to nil. So Japan actually looked really strong for this game. Mexico, on the other hand, also did well. They had a, a draw in the first game against. Uh, Paraguay in the second game they lost to Italy although it was really close you know the game should have ended in the draw after Alvarez got the equalizer for Mexico but Mexico stole the game they got a late winner and uh, Mexico had to come back in the last game against Solomon Island defeating Solomon Island eight goals to nil to make sure they qualify as one of the best third place finishers in their group and that's why Mexico are here right now so they have to play Japan a very a, an even tougher opposition Japan, don't forget, are the Asian champions at the under-16 level. So, um, I'm just going to pick Japan to win this game by a single goal. Um, because I know Japan are really good. Especially the player, Nikishawa, a very good player to watch out for. So, I'm going to pick Japan one to win one, one goal to nil. You can also make sure you type your predictions. You can feel free to disagree or agree with what I'm saying. I'll make sure to read your comments and go through them. That game will be played on Wednesday, 6th of November. On Tuesday, I mean the 5th of November, and um, it's, it's one game I would not want to miss. I would want to watch that game, and as soon as I finish watching the game, I will do the match analysis and post the link here. Well, the next game, Paraguay against Argentina. Hmm, who do I pick in this game? This game is very difficult to predict. Um, Paraguay finished up in the group, defeating Italy. I didn't see that coming. They defeated Italy. They defeated Solomon Island seven goals to nil. They had a draw against Mexico. 
Argentina on the other hand, you know, finished second also with seven points. Because getting a draw against Spain they were impressive in that game. Defeating Cameroon three goals to one and Tajikistan three goals to one as well. So um, I'm just going to pick Argentina to win this game. You know, because I feel they have a better and stronger team. Players like Ceballos. Um, I think Argentina might just win this game, but it's going to be really tough and difficult to call. So I pick Argentina to win two goals to one for this game. The next one, Spain versus Senegal. The toughest game of the round of 16, in my opinion. Um, in my personal list, these teams are my favorite to win this competition, Spain and Senegal. Um, it's just, it's, this match is not going to be like Barcelona against Real Madrid. You know, Spain, very decent side. They only considered once, which was an own goal. Defender trying to pass to the goalkeeper. So they are really strong defensively. They have lots of good talents in their squad. Rodri, the Barcelona prospect. He likes that plays for, that also is playing for Barcelona. I, I am youth system. They are very good, you know. They have lots of good players in that team. And uh, I just, uh, Senegal, also very, very good side. They are threat to any team. You know, Senegal defeating Netherlands. Three goals to one, coming from a goal down. Senegal defeating United States, four goals to one, before finally losing to Japan, although they've qualified them. One player to watch out for Senegal will be Sa. Sa and Baude, two very good players. I am, I'm actually, I have mixed feelings about the results for this game. Any team could win this game easily. Ah, but I just, I, I would just pick Spain. This game can go anyway. It can Senegal can win this game, no doubt. Spain can also win this game. I expect to see good football in this game. This is one match you should not miss. Even if you are not Spanish or if you are not Senegalese, this is one match you should not miss. So I just I'm just going to pick Spain to win. Maybe the match goes to extra time and still win by penalties. But it's going to be a really tough match and interesting match to watch. The match is going to be played on November 6th on Wednesday this week. And then yeah, we'll, let's see how that goes. The next game, France versus Australia. France had a perfect record in the group, having nine points. Um, did really well. Defeated Chile, defeated South Korea, defeated Haiti to get to this stage. Um, France is also one of two teams to have nine points. France and Brazil, they had nine points from their group. So I think if France can keep its momentum going, they should be able to defeat Australia. Australia qualified from the qualified qualified third in the group. You know, having four points, defeating Nigeria in the last game, and getting a draw against Hungary. Uh, this game, I'm just going to pick France to win because, of course, France are favourite to win this game. Lots of good players in that team, um, but they, they have to watch out for Australia because I feel they are really determined to go far in this competition. They also have some decent players in the Australian side, but I feel I pick France to win this game. Three goals to one. Um, because I feel France has a better score than Australia. My personal opinion, though. The next game, Ecuador against Italy, November 7th. That will be played on Thursday. And yeah, in this game, I'm just going to pick Italy. Um, Ecuador has had, they had a very bad defense, qualifying, considering six goals so far in the com com competition. They considered four against Nigeria in the opening game. You know, so I'm just going to pick Italy to win this game. Italy should just defeat Ecuador to win this game. So I'm picking Italy. Maybe they win two goals to one. The game might be as well tight to call, but they, they maybe win two goals to one. But they have to watch out for the Ecuadorian player, Juan Mina, also a Barcelona prospect, a very good player, a decent player. And um, yeah, Ecuador, except Ecuador comes up with a surprise, Italy should win this game on paper. So I'm picking Italy to win two goals to one. The last round of 16 game between Brazil and Chile. Brazil and Chile. Brazil are also on this competition, so this is very easy to predict. I'm predicting Brazil to win. If Brazil keep their form going, the players like Veron, Peglo, these are very good players. So I just feel Brazil could easily win this game. They are at home, so why not? So I'm predicting Brazil to win this game. Three goals to nil at this competition. So that's my basic predictions for the game. Um, let me know what you think about this. What do you think? If you disagree with any of my predictions, let me know down below. I'll be sure to read your comments and try to reply to them. So just uh, let me know down below. But who do you think will win this competition so far? Which of these teams, which of these 16 teams do you see winning this competition? Do you see Angola, South Korea, 
Japan, Mexico, Nigeria, Netherlands, Paraguay, Argentina, Spain, Senegal, France, Australia, Ecuador, Italy, Brazil, Chile. Which of these teams do you actually see winning this under 17 competition? This will be tough to call. Let me know down below. I will be sure to read your comments and reply to them. So this is basically the end and the wrap for my predictions for the round of 16 at under 17 World Cup. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch these videos here and these videos here. And please subscribe by clicking on this circle right here. Thanks for watching. Ademola Victor signing out saying bye.